Howdy folks, welcome back to another video. Now this one's a little bit different. We're not going to be playing ACC. I'm actually going to be showing you how to use the cinematic function when taking screen grabs or photos within ACC. And as I said in the title, you don't need Photoshop for this. You don't need to edit or manipulate the photos anymore than what we're actually going to be doing within ACC itself. And as you can see on screen here, I've got just a slideshow of images that I quickly took from a race that I did prior to recording this tutorial. So I really hope you like it. Of course, consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this in the very near future. And of course, leave a like on the video and comment below if you like what you see. But let's hop straight into it. Okay, so here we are in a set of course of competizione. Now, before I did this video, I just hopped into a quick AI based race at Laguna Seca. Now I'm focusing on the McLaren here because these two are AI cars, but they did have a pretty good battle the whole way through and they're pretty close to each other. So the specific type of screenshot I want to get is a is one if I could have the McLaren in focus and then have the Porsche in front going off into the background and make sure our depth of field is set correctly. So I know on this very last lap, it was actually when the race finished was when the sun started to come up around this side of the track. So I'm just keeping an eye here for my point. And I think it's about here. So we want to focus on this area. And I think this is going to uh, create a really, really nice looking screenshot when we actually go to do it. So I'll grab my keyboard here. So this is the important step of this. You want to be focused on the car that you actually want to take a picture of. So find the car, uh, follow it around to the point where you're close enough where you think you want to get a screenshot. Then what I'm going to do is press F7 and I'm going to go to the free cam mode. I'm then going to click the scroll wheel on my mouse. And this is something I didn't even know existed before. So I'm sure a lot of you guys watching don't even know that this exists, but this opens up the cinematic settings for us to be able to manipulate the image that we see in a set of course of competizione. So we can actually get good quality and professional looking camera photos from here. So first thing I want to do is click the follow car disabled, and this will make sure that well, essentially you want to think about it like you're a photographer on the side of the track. You are sat in place, basically waiting for the cars to come around. So when we click or disable the follow car, it makes sure that when I hit play, we're not going to be following the car around at whatever point of view we set. We're basically going to be static on the track, just waiting for the car to come across. So let's come in a little bit and about here looks good. Now it's in no way perfect, but we're going to work on that. What I want to look at here is the camera controls option and field of view. So we can either come in or out. In this specific instance, I want to come in. I want to minimize the amount of space left and right of the car. So I'm actually going to bring the camera over and you can already begin to see the type of screenshot that we're going for here, but it gets much, much better than this. So let's now go to the depth of field settings. So I'm actually going to now set everything back to zero. So we just don't have any settings there whatsoever. So first thing I want to do is set the focus area. So let's set it to about 2,250 for now is fine. What we want to look at then is the far size. So you can see past the Porsche in front of the McLaren. Can you see that begin to blur? So this basically allows us to add a depth of field. So it allows us to put the forefront in focus. Uh, or choose our focal point basically. So when I edit this, uh, when I go to far size, you can see that the blur stops at the back of the Porsche. So I actually want to increase my focus or decrease my focus area, sorry, so that it comes in just past the McLaren. So if I edit this, so it just comes in, you can see here. So now I have my focus area set to just past our main car here. Now our far size, I can leave pretty much the same as it is for now at least. So I'm going to just have a look here and it's set to 2.64, which you can see it just come into effect here before the Porsche. What I want to do then is edit the transition. So you can see here now it's a fairly stark line between our focus point and our out of focus point. So we go to far transition to soften that transition through our focal point to the background of the image essentially. Now, I don't really want to pay attention to any of these. They're not going to take effect here for now on this example, but there is a few other options that you can go into here now. But the most important ones are going to be your focus area, fire size and fire transition. So your focus area is going to allow you to determine what area is being focused on 
bar size is how big the background essentially is and then your transition is going to be how smooth it is from your focus area to that background. So now our image is beginning to look okay. I am actually going to bring this down just slightly so we can begin to see that car back there. So now I'm going to go back, turn this off and go back to my free cam because I want some movement in here. So even this as it is now is a pretty solid screenshot. So I'm going to open up my cinematic settings just once more. And I'm just going to make sure that I have follow car disabled, which I do. That's fine. I'm going to set my camera to about here. And now what I'm going to do is set it back eight seconds. And then I'm going to set my playback speed back to about 0.5. And as I said before, you want to basically pretend that you're a photographer on the side of the track. And we're just waiting here for that perfect shot that we're looking for. So let's actually bring this in here. And this is going to be our first shot. And I think this looks great. We're nice and close here with the Audi Europe car livery. And we can see that we have an Audi and a Mercedes in the distance with the sunrise coming up over. So if I press F12 here, it'll basically take a screenshot and we'll go into where you can find them and save them after this tutorial. So if I go down to my play settings here and actually go back another eight seconds. So I'm just going to let it play. It's at half speed. I'm going to make sure. Actually, I'm going to bring that speed down a little bit. I'm going to bring my mouse off so that my controls disappear. I'm going to hold my finger on F12. And as I see the perfect screenshot, I'm basically going to click F12. So I click F12 again, again. And it's basically, as I said, you're like a photographer on the side of the track, just waiting for that perfect shot. You've zoomed in on this corner. You have your focal point set and you're just waiting for that spot on shot to come about. So we've got a few ones taken here, but we'll keep going. Especially here when the McLaren comes in, that's the shot we want. Okay, so let's get out of here. So I'm just going to exit the replay and now we're going to go find our photos. So next steps is to open up your Steam account. And what we want to do is go to view and then screenshots. And this is where all of our screenshots that we've just taken within a set of course of Competizione are going to show for us. So we can click through here and see all of the fantastic photos you've just taken. So this one looks pretty cool. So what I want to do is click show on disk and that's going to basically send me straight to the folder where all these uh, screenshots are on my computer. So now I want to just browse through them. So let's have a look at this one first and you can see the quality of this image. It just looks amazing. So if I like this image, what I do is click these three dots. I can simply go to save as, and then I'll just save it as something like photo one. And then we press enter and it saves into our pictures on our desktop. And you can simply just scroll through all of the available screenshots and just choose which ones to save, which ones you might want to use for your social platforms. So this one looks awesome as well. This, tur this turned out really, really cool. So again, we go to save as, we can give it a name and just save that to our computer. But you can see the quality difference in the screenshots in comparison to the normal photo mode that's within a set of course of Competizione. And it's not entirely obvious that these cinematic settings actually exist, but you can see the quality difference. There's no need for Photoshop or, or any sort of further editing with these screenshots. These turned out absolutely amazing. The most I do to them is bring them into a software and maybe change the contrast a little bit, but that's just not necessary. As I said at the start of this, this is something that you can do without having to use a third party software to manipulate the images anymore. Uh, we can simply get professional grade images and screenshots within a set of course of Competizione itself. Uh, and that's the beauty of this. And that'll do it for this quick tutorial. I really hope you got something from this video and enjoyed it. Of course, let me know by leaving a like down below. Now, we didn't cover exactly everything in regards to creating the perfect photos within ACC. There is a lot of things you can do here and you can get extremely in depth with it, especially if you're looking at capturing cars in full motion to get that background blur and that speed blur. But that's a much more complicated process. I just wanted to show you the basic settings and how Basically, any sort of person can just go in and create amazing looking screen grabs, just like the one you've seen here now within ACC. It's quite fun and it's something that I like to do in my own personal time and of course to use for YouTube also. So as I said, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave a like down below and comment. Of course, I'm always interested in knowing if there's anything I missed or if there's anything that you found out today that you didn't know before. Also consider subscribing to the channel. It would be fantastic if you did so. If you want to see more content like this in ACC. Thanks so much for watching the video and I'll check you guys out next time. See you later.